Hi, my name is Greg Outlaw. I'm a junior here at the University of Pacific, and my major is uh, strategic, strategic Communications. Awesome, Greg. Thanks for being with us. So, um, your junior year on the court, let's talk about the 22-23 season. You just got cleared to come back after a big injury. Tell me about how exciting that is, what you're looking forward to, to being back with this team. Um, I think I just want to get back to just being a part of the culture that we're, built, that we're building right now, uh, the, the level of competition. I just want to get back out there and just show that I can, I can still do this. I can still be a, a helping hand, a, a voice, a leader on and off the court. So it's just really just getting back out there, hitting the ground running. And do you feel as though there was, I mean, you're going to be back out on the court, but you were still around, you were still at those games, you were still cheering your teammates on every day on the court last season when you were out. How do you think that plays into your leadership style, the culture of the team? Um, I, because I never got down. I think I still use my teammates as a motivation because they were, they were out there doing a job as of like right then and there. I knew I couldn't get back out there, so I, I took a job as a, mentally, I wanted to prepare myself to get back on the court because I could physically be ready, but my mental had to be ready at first. So me being around my teammates kept me uplifted, made me like, all right, I can still do this. This is something that I love to do. So watching them, it definitely gave me um, the motivation to still stay locked in. And that culture that you've talked about that y'all are building, you've brought in a lot of new players this season, mm -hmm. transfers, younger recruits. Talk about how those are meshing with the, the returners that you have on your team. Oh, we got a group of we got a group of different guys, but we all have the same goal. So we all want to still hoop and play basketball, but we we're kind of different in our own way, and it, it balances it's balanced the team out. We got guys that don't really say much, but they they like to joke, and you got guys that's talkative. So we got a lot of a lot of balance with this team, and I think that's going to help us. When we make runs, we can we can go against uh, top twenty five teams. We we have so much diversity on this team. It's going to help us in the long run, I think. Looking at your schedule for this season, are there a certain one game, a certain couple games that you have circled in red that you're like these are the ones? Me personally, I circle all conference games because I didn't get to play. So for me personally, it's definitely trying to get back out there for conference because I feel personally that. That's where it's, that's where it's going to really count. That's where we can make our, our run to the tournament. So I, my goal is to play in conference and to get a, a get us in a nice seating. So I changed my number from 24 to zero. So last year, uh, I, I committed late, so I wasn't able to get my number. And they already printed the, um, the names on the jersey. I wore 24 because uh, my dad wore 24 last year, but zero been my number since high school. So I feel like I'm back to myself now. <laughs> So you got your new number, you got cleared to play, and you are a leader on this team. What is your message in the locker room to this team? My message to the guys is really to come out there and compete. Play with a, a level of, like, this is all we got. And that's how I feel right now because it was taken away from me so abruptly. So really it's just going out there, competing. Like with me, it's just competing, showing that you care about the game. Don't just go out there and play it just because you're here. I actually mean it. And I think with this group of guys, everybody means to be out there on the floor. Is that that same message that you give to yourself that just compete? Or is it anything different when you're talking to yourself? Uh, no, I think for with myself, it's, it's really, this is, I'm not going to let this be taken away from me and I have any regrets. So I think right now, I'm just going to go all out until the wheels fall off because I seen how it could be taken away. I understood that those days where I couldn't move or I couldn't walk, I, I cherished those days. Those days is like almost like yesterday. So I just got clear, but I still remember them days of not being able to get out the bed. So that's where my motivation really comes from, to not go back to that place again, you know? And now that you're gonna be back out on that court, and now that we have, um, more leeway and less restrictions to get the fans back in the gym. What do you want to say to the fans about filling the Alex G. Spano Center? Oh man, we want you guys to come out and support us. It's going to be a different culture, a different energy in the gym. We got guys that's going to come out and play hard every night, and we're going to make the games fun again. We're not going to be a steady game. It's going to be some ups and downs, but I think you guys are going to be very excited for the team that you got that's coming up. Greg, is there anything about 
yourself getting cleared or the upcoming season, your team that we haven't touched on that you wanted to add? Um, we're going to have to say that for the season. You guys going to see. I think I'm a big guy of just showing by action. So I can say that we're going to do all this, but I'd rather you guys see it and, and see a different team and see a different